my forum for expression of my maleness. I'm the manager of Drag King Rebellion, and that is a troop of Michigan State students. Drag isn't just men being women or women being men, it's about gender performance. So it is about playing with gender. Drag King Rebellion is definitely, you know, TJ's baby and in mine as well. And as trans guys, it's been really important to us in our identity. Me and TJ and Andy started it, um, and then Andy, you know, has since quit, and there's been a lot of drama with that. And he quit DKR, uh, he says, because he doesn't think doing Justin Timberlake is any type of activism. I mean, you know, when I performed Justin Timberlake, I was sexist. I now see sexism as rape culture. Contestants number four, Trick and Stone. <laughs> Again, the silliest thing things to say, why would you boycott drag? Picks the wrong battles all the time. Boycotting drag. Such an ego fiend. Our winner is for tonight, going on to next week. We got the Backstreet Boys, contestant number four, Trick and Stone. This whole like trans brotherhood crap Obviously, it doesn't float when it comes to making enough money or being sexy enough. He wants to be on stage and be in the spotlight and make a bunch of money doing it. I, I mean, that's just, that's not going to work for me. I think that that's disgusting. Andy is no longer a member, and it's his own choice. The rest of us are still going to build it. The rest of us are still here, and him not being there is, is his loss, not the community's. He's really missing out on something great that we're doing. <laughs> well, pro no. It's not a bad picture. It's an adorable picture. Why can't you show... Like, I kept a bunch of pictures of your dad. I have pictures of my dad. Why don't you put that away? I'll get my own dad picture. But you'd like to see it, wouldn't you? Mom, don't show people pictures of me when I look crappy. What if I put my thumb over Lucas? Here, I'll put my thumb over Lucas. Said, Mom, that's an awful picture of him anyway. I brought my thumb over you. It's an awful picture anyway, though. It's not You're either. Right. You know, it is sad to me that that you don't want pictures of yourself as a child. I don't want pictures where I look like a girl. That's the thing. I don't want to think about it. How about this? Is this too girly? You can show him that stupid picture. It's not stupid. Um, let me go see if I have it. That's not really me when I was young, though. No, that's just, that's high school age. What are you putting in? Cheetle family video. No. Ew, look at it. Oh, my hair is out of control. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be outside today. Hey, there's Leah. Oh, my God. That was awful, man. How old was I? You were almost 14, but not quite. Oh, sh that was problem time. Yes, it was. <laughs> that was not good. It's almost like when we look back on ourselves, we don't seem like the same people. I know, it's weird. It isn't? seems like a different person, you know. But you know, I still remember so well how I felt that day. See, and I don't remember this. Well, I do. Like, I feel distant from it. We were having so much trouble between us, and I was so trying to reach out and just spend time. I confess that I had hopes that he'd change his mind and we'd go back to Leah. But now I'm realizing that I have two sons. He's going where he's going and I can stop clinging to the possibility of Leah popping back into the picture. Let's go see if we like her tape. Come on. You know, I'm pretty unique and like I'm not definitely don't fit the bubble and like 
don't mind talking about it. And so it really doesn't bother me like when people ask about that. Gabriel, how old are you? 19. Well, that's really cool. Like, I'm always interested in other people's lives, so I'm kind of a little nosy. Like, I, don't, I mean, I don't really know you that well. It's kind of one of those things where, and don't take this the wrong way, but like, you're talked about, you know what I mean? So I feel like I know, like, you through kind of other people's conversations. Is it like a personal thing for you, or do you mind talking about it? No, no, I'm very open. So like, what all is the surgery going to, going to entail? Basically, I get a vagina. Like, are you getting top surgery too? I don't need top surgery. Really? It's a hormones important. So, natural. really? So, like, if I wanted breasts, I could conceivably just take a pill and get them? Take a series of pills for a long period of time. Because this is after like one year of hormones. Wow. Your hormones, are they covered by insurance or do you have to pay for them out of pocket? Unfortunately, I'm not on one of the plans that pays for my SRS, so... So do you have to pay for that out of pocket? 15500 Fortunately, my parents have a lot of money. I bet the cost is like the least important thing for everybody involved. Like there's such a more, like, a greater value in terms of like your happiness, your security. Money isn't important at all. I'm gonna be going to this old lady. She's a Mexican lady and she sells fruits. And I'm gonna be buying my hormones. I would want to get hormones from a doctor. But the thing is, I don't have that much money. So I get them from the streets. It's cheaper. Let me go check if she's okay. there so it won't scare them. Hi, do you know about the lady here who sells fruits? Uh, she's not here right now. Was she here today? Hi, um, do you know the lady there who sells fruits? Yeah, medicines from Mexico? Oh. Medicinas de Mexico? No, they didn't have That's really weird because she's gone. So that means I have to go to Victor in Hollywood. He's not answering. How do I get this? He's not answering. Not answering again. God! Hello? Um, yeah, is Victor there? Hello? This is Tracy, the Filipina. Anna, Filipina, a transsexual. Hello, is this a trans... Hello? You sell hormones? You sell hormones? Oh God, they put it down. I don't know what to do. If I stop the hormones, I'm afraid that I'd become masculine again. Hormones are not supposed to be like that because hormones should be regular. I don't know where to buy. being touched by people. It's just a lot of the acceptance thing and the emotional impact that goes with it. Gabby, seriously, back off. I said you walking around. Gabby, seriously, back off. You're the one who jumped in the middle. I really love hanging out with my friends and just chatting, cuddling. Cuddling is definitely one of my big ones. <laughs> She's, you know, learning how to interact with people as a girl. Gabby.